Hi. Uh, today's been a very big day for Google. Earlier today, we announced uh, that we've reached a partnership agreement with Twitter. So we will be featuring uh, their tweets in our search results, uh, as well as building a real-time search. Um, and we're really excited about that because this is a really fundamental need. There are times when people are searching for things that are very in the moment. And being able to have that comprehensiveness is very important. And I think it demonstrates our commitment to innovating in search, uh, as does the demo we're going to do today. Uh, and the demo today is on a different note, but it's a related note, which is social networks. We've been thinking about social networks for a long time at, at Google. MySpace, Facebook, Flickr, LinkedIn, how YouTube, how could social networks help improve the search experience? And so we're here to demo a product that will be launching in the next few weeks on Google Labs called Social Search. Uh, and with me, I have Maureen Hamans, who is our lead engineer and champion of social search uh, at Google. And we're going to demonstrate for you what social search is. So can we switch over to the demo computer? So uh, we'll give you a couple of examples. So I've been recently planning a trip. One of the places I've been thinking about going is New Zealand. And if you search on New Zealand on Google, what you see is this result page, which is great. These are the best resources online for New Zealand. But certainly, some of my friends or someone that I know in my social network has been to New Zealand. Right now, we're logged into Google as Maureen. And you'll see that when you scroll to the bottom of the page, there's a new feature. And what we've done here is inserted on the bottom of the page content written by people in your social network. So Maureen has two friends here, Simon and Jeremy, both who've been to New Zealand, both who've written travel logs and published their photos. And you can see those. And we think this is great from a precision and relevance standpoint. Yes, the rest of the results on the page are the most relevant for New Zealand globally. But in terms of relevance to Maureen on New Zealand, these are the most relevant results. So we're really excited to be able to offer this type of service to our users. How does it work? Well, to, first of all, to use social search, you need to be signed into Google. You also need to have a Google profile where you place the different social networks you're a part of. And then using those social networks, as well as analyzing Gmail contacts, if you're a Gmail user, we can determine who else you're connected to. You can see we go back to the one box. So these are some of the social networks that Maureen is connected to. If you go back to the one box, we've shown there how you're connected. So for example, Maureen is connected to Jeremy through, through Gmail and to Simon through FriendFeed. So you can see where your connection came from. So we're transparent about that. You can offer, uh, make changes to it by controlling it, going to your Google profile, changing these other networks, or signing out. Or you can decide not to opt in at all. When we launch Google Social Networks, so Google Social Search, it will be on labs and experimental, and you'll opt in to the experiment. So let's go a little deeper into the feature. So I'm going to turn it over to Maureen. What have you been searching for lately? So I've been thinking about switching from my iPhone to the Blackberry. So let me see. What do my friends have to say about that? It would be really useful to know the, the experience. Oops. Let me try again. So I get to see two results from uh, my friends. The first one is from Paul Ha, who is a really close friend, so I really trust his ju judgment. And he wrote a blog um, explaining his experience trading from the BlackBerry to the iPhone. This is going to be really useful information for me to make the decision on whether or not I want to switch to the iPhone. Now I want to see more results, so let me click here. I get to see many more results from my friends. As Marisa mentioned, uh, transparency is really important to us. And what we mean by transparency is that we want to make it very clear to the user how they are connected to, um, to the results. So if we look at these results from Chris Saka, who is the results from a connection of a connection, um, we can see that Steve Baker is actually my friend on, on Gmail. And Steve is following uh, Chris Saka on Twitter. And that's how we see that result. So you can see the types of value this adds on web results. But as you know, one of the most popular things on social networks is publishing and sharing photos. So we also looked at how could we improve image search and search for pictures using the social network. So let me try the query Cedric on image search. So right now, we get to see lots of pictures from uh, Harry Potter, Cedric the Entertainer, uh, and many other Cedric. But Cedric is also the name of my husband. And if you see, if you look at the bottom, we get to see many pictures from Cedric. Let me look at those pictures. 
And now I can see a picture from Cedric, I mean, during his Ironman, his uh, triathlon. I mean, he's just a really active husband. This is great. This is just, you know, really relevant to me, much more than the Harry Potter Cedric. So you can see how analyzing these social networks can really improve the overall relevance, comprehensiveness, and quality of the results. And one of the biggest pockets we've seen where this can really enhance your search experience is on local information. Has one of your friends already seen that play? Have they been to that restaurant or been to that hotel? And so since we're here with a bunch of con conference goers as you're approaching dinner time, do we have any restaurants we can search for? Last week I went to this restaurant called Spark. Um, it's in the Mission and was really good, great San Fran um, Californian food, not too expensive. Let me see if any of my friends have written review for that uh, restaurant. Yes, Ninian has written a review on Yelp. Um, if I go to the Yelp page, I can find a review and she gave five stars to that restaurant. No, I'm really convinced this is the place I want to go tonight. So we're very excited about Google Social Search. You'll see it launch in the next few weeks on Google Labs and on Experimental. Uh, and until then, keep searching. So, thank you. Um, I'll come over here. Um, so you spent a lot of time on Google Social Search, and that's really cool. But let me ask you about the first thing you just said. Sorry. Did I hear you right that you have a deal with Twitter now? We have a deal with Twitter. Did that get negotiated between 11.30 and now? <laughs> <laughs> the, these things take far more time than that. <laughs> well, it's, I, just the timing was quite, well, it was great timing. Thank you for making that announcement. Um, how is it going to be integrated? Do you have any insights for us? I know you couldn't show it, but. Sure. Uh, it will be integrated into our search results page. So the idea is that for things like Michael Jackson, Air France 447, Google Wave, some of these fast rising queries where there's a period of time where there's actually tweets about that topic and the definitive news article, blog post, web page hasn't been written yet. We really would like to showcase the tweets. So it's almost like the really universal one box question. integration around a particular use case, not unlike with video or news or something like, or weather or something like that. That's right. It's going to be a classic universal search integration right. where you can, where we'll rank it on the page according to relevance. And if you know that you only want tweets or only want real time updates, you can open the tool belt and select those, or you can click on that result to and see. Will there more be a lot of traffic driven to Twitter because of this deal? Uh, there will be traffic driven to Twitter uh, through the, both the usernames and hashtags and things right. like that. And was there money exchanged during this deal? We aren't disclosing the financial terms. There were financial terms on <laughs> Marissa, thank you so much Thanks. for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.